Hey everyone, so in the last two videos, I told you all about the fundamental exams and some of the intermediate level exams whose syllabus are going to change in 2024. So in case you are preparing for any of these exams, it's a must for you to know that syllabus is going to change and of course the questions. And friends, while some of the exams just got some basic tweaks or cosmetic changes, while the other got some major changes. And yes, in the last video, there was some bit of confusion in one of the most popular certification exams. And I got many mails and messages from our viewers and they were complaining that they were not able to find the changes on my Microsoft documentation. So I looked into the issue and decided to do this video so that I can clear all the confusion. So in this video, I'm going to tell you all the changes that are coming up in the intermediate level exams, expert level exams and speciality level exams. And in the process, while I'll tell you all the upcoming changes, I will also let you know what is the problem with the Microsoft documentation because of which you yourself are not able to find the upcoming changes. And yes, at the end of the video, we will also do some chit chat and understand whether you need to change your exam dates postpone your exams, maybe you need some extra learning materials or any extra course, maybe some more time to prepare for the exams to accommodate all these changes. So I know all these questions are popping in your head. So I will try to answer all of these questions in this very video. And yes, as I always do, I will share some Microsoft verified documentation so that you can validate all what we have said in this video. And remember, no matter what level you are on Microsoft Azure, all these three videos, including this one, are super important for you. So please share these videos with your family, friends and colleagues who are doing the Microsoft Azure certification. So let's get started. So let's kick start this video with AZ204, a very popular Microsoft certification developing solution for Microsoft Azure. So this certification, my friends, is for those who want to become Azure developer. Now, friends, as an Azure developer, your responsibilities will be including requirement gathering, design, development, deployment, security, maintenance, performance tuning and monitoring. So just think and ask yourself, my friends, in case your job profile includes the interaction with the Azure Cloud Solution Architects or maybe the DBAs or DevOps team, maybe infrastructure admins or maybe other stakeholders it really focuses on many of the programming languages such as C Sharp, Java or the Python. And you also get to work on Azure SDKs, Azure SLI, Azure PowerShell, Azure Resource Manager, Azure DevOps, Azure Entra and data storage, databases, containers, Kubernetes. So these things and technology make your normal day then this certification is just the right for you here you can see that we have schedule exam so in case you want to schedule your exam you can do the same from this option given here schedule exam and of course you can note down the exam fee so here you can see that we have 165 usd but then this fee depends on the country or the region that you are residing in so for example let's say that you're residing in india then this exam will cost you 4800 INR. And similarly, my friends, this very documentation also gives you the option how to prepare and what are the skills measured here. You can see all the skills measured for this particular exam. I'm telling you all these nitty gritties and all these points so that you can find all the relevant section important for the exam. So here you can see that we have two options to prepare. We have self-paced and instructor led. So this one is my personal favorite self-paced. I always choose this option. So here you can see and observe all the modules that you have to prepare prepare for and friends a quick reminder to you that we at tech blackboard youtube channel we have exam preparation series for many of azure and aws certification exams so for example we have very popular series on az 900 dp 900 ai 900 az 104 dp 203 and not only that we also have exam preparation series for aws cloud practitioner and new exam preparation series are always coming up and we keep revising our questions on all the series and just so you know in all these series you will get some real exam like practice questions exam tips we will get the documentation to validate all the answers so my advice to you is that once you feel that you are prepared with all the understanding and all the knowledge for that particular certification then you can watch these videos and test your knowledge against real exam like practice questions and not just that my friends apart from the certification the real motto of these videos is that you are prepared to work on microsoft azure or aws in the real work environment so that's why my friends in case you are new here today please subscribe to the channel and share these videos as much as you can always do not forget to click on this option see more so that you are aware of all the sections and the 
the modules in that particular exam. Anyways, my friends, now let's focus on the main objective of this video that we want to understand all the changes that are coming in various Azure certification. And of course, I will let you know that what is the problem with the Microsoft documentation due to which you are not able to find the changes by yourself. So let me take you to the relevant section here. Now here you can see that this important section, this section tells you that the English language version of this exam, which is AZ204, will be updated on January the 22nd, 2023. And this is the problem section because in this section, Microsoft is telling you that the exam changes will be happening on 22nd January 2023, which is a stale information. So now let me tell you where you can find the most updated information. And for that, you have to come to this section, which says tip. And here you have to click on this section here, review the AZ204 study guide. And just remember my friends, the steps that I'm following for this exam, AZ204, you can follow the same steps to know about all the changes in all the certification. Here you can see that all the certification on the left hand side are listed. First of all, let's focus here. This is a very important section. So please pay attention. Now in this section, you can see that the exam changes are happening. When are they happening? Here you can see that the exam changes are happening on January 22nd, 2024. So you see the difference between the previous page that we visited and this page. It said 2023 and now this one is giving you the most updated information that is 2024. And that's the exact reason why you're not able to find the exam updates. Okay, so now you understand what is the problem with the documentation. Now let's head on to understand what are the exact changes coming up in this certification. For that, you have to click on these two important links here. Here you can see that we have two important links. The first one is this review the exam skills measured as of 22nd January 2024. And then we have this one, which is prior to the January 22nd, 2024. So as you have already guessed, the old syllabus is reflected in this link and the newer syllabus is reflected in the first link given here. First of all, you have to go to this change log to understand what are the changes coming up in this certification. Here you can see all the change log and all the changes that are coming. And now my friends, to start with, here you can observe all the changes coming up in AZ204. First of all, we have a minor change in this section, which is implement Azure App Service Web Apps. And the second change is coming in this section, implement Azure Functions, then we do not have any change here, no change here as well. Then we have a change in develop solution that use Azure Blob Storage. So all in all, we can see three minor changes coming up in AZ204. Now friends, what you can also do is to compare all these changes in a little bit more detail. For that, what you can do is that you can open these two top links and compare them side by side. So here you can see that I have arranged two windows here. The first one on the left hand side, this tells you the oldest syllabus, and one on the right hand side, this gives you the latest syllabus. So similar steps and the process you can adhere for any certification. Now the first section that is undergoing change for AZ204, let's compare that. So the first section where we observe changes, the minor changes coming up are in this section, which is implement Azure App Service Web App. So here you can see in this fourth point, we are having some changes. The older syllabus says configure web app settings, including secure socket layer, SSL, API settings and connection strings. And then in comparison to this older syllabus, we have this newer syllabus here to configure web app settings, including transport layer security, TLS, API settings and connection strings. So this is the first section that observed change for AZ204. Now let's move on to the second section. So this is the second section, which is implement Azure functions. And once again, my friends, as I told you in the previous videos as well. Sometimes it's very hard to find out the changes. And that's also true for this section. You probably would not notice any change in these two newer and older sections. But I found one for you very minor change. And that is this one here. Here you can see in the older syllabus, it says Azure function app. While in the newer syllabus, it says Azure functions app. So just the addition of this S here or the plural of function is the change in this section. And the third and the final section where we have changes in AZ204 is this one develop solution that use Azure Blob Storage. Now in this section here, my friends, the only changes in this last point, the older syllabus tells us implement static site hosting. While on the other hand, the newer syllabus tells us implement static website hosting. So instead of saying it is site, now the Microsoft is calling it as a website. So those were the three changes that are coming coming up in AZ204 and likewise my friends you can compare all the changes for all the certification but let me browse through all the certification very quickly so that at least you know what are the certification that are undergoing change. The next certification that I have for you is AZ120, which is planning and administrating Azure for SAP workloads. Now friends, here you have to understand that I'm taking only the certification, which are primarily related to Microsoft Azure. There are various other certification, for example, Dynamics 365 or Power Platform. 
I'm not taking those certification in this video. Probably I will create another separate video for those certification. So now let's get on to this one. Here you can see once again, the changes are coming up on January 22nd, 2024. Now let's see what are the changes coming up. So here you can click on to the change log and then you can see and observe all the changes. First of all, to begin with the very first change that is coming in AZ120 is audience profile. So friends, when you're comparing both the syllabus side by side yourself as I showed for the AZ204, then please read the audience profile as it has some minor changes. Then we have no changes in this section here. The very first other change that we observe is this section, which is design and implement a compute solution for SAP workloads. Once again, I want to draw your attention that this is a minor change. And so the last change that we have for AZ120 is monitor and maintain SAP on Microsoft Azure. So these are the two minor changes that are coming for AZ120. Please remember this is a speciality exam. Now let's check out the third certification that is AZ140 configuring and operating Microsoft Azure virtual desktop. Here once again the changes are coming on January 22nd and here you can see we have no change in audience profile. The first minor change that is coming up in this exam is plan and implement and manage networking for Azure virtual desktop. And the second minor change that is coming up in this certification is this one, which is plan and implement security. So those were the two changes that are coming up for AZ140. And just so you know that AZ140 is once again a speciality exam. And next at number five, we have AZ400, which is designing and implementing Microsoft DevOps solution. Here we can see that the changes are coming on 29th of January, 2024. And the only change that is coming in AZ400 is this one. Here you can see that change, which is automate security and compliance scanning. So that's the only minor change in AZ400. And remember that this is an advanced level certification. And next at number six, we have AZ500, which is Microsoft Azure Security Technologies. And here we can see the changes are coming up on 31st of January, 2024. And in this certification, we have quite some changes, minor changes coming up. The first section is manage identities in Microsoft Intro ID. This is undergoing change. And in the newer syllabus, it says manage Microsoft Intro identities. And then secondly, we have changes in this section, which is manage authentication by using Microsoft Intro ID. In the newer syllabus, this is called manage Microsoft Intro authentication. Similarly, we have this section manage authorization by using Microsoft Intro ID, which is now renamed as manage Microsoft Intro authorization. And then just below that, we have manage application access in Microsoft Intro ID, which is now called as manage Microsoft Intro application access. And then my friends, in addition to all these changes, we have one more minor change and that is in this section, which is plan and implement security for Azure SQL database and Azure SQL managed instances. And please note that AZ500 is an intermediate level exam. At number seven, we have AZ700, which is designing and implementing Microsoft Azure networking solution. The changes are coming on 29th of January, 2024. Now let's check out the changes. The very first section that is undergoing change for the AZ700 is this one, design and implement name resolution. The second section is design and implement BNet connectivity and routing. The third one is monitor networking. And at number four, we have design, implement and manage a point to site VPN connection. And then at number five, we have design, implement and manage Azure Express Route. And the last change that is coming for AZ700 is this one here, which is design and implement Azure Load Balancer. And just to remind you, my friends, that I'm rushing through all these changes. And the intention here is that you know all the certification that are undergoing changes in 2024. And you can compare all the changes for all the certifications side by side. And AZ700 is also intermediate level exam. And then at number eight, we have AZ800, which is administering Windows Server Hybrid Core Infrastructure. And here the changes are coming on 29th of January, 2024. Now let's check out the change log. Here we can see the changes. There is no change in audience profile. And the very first change that is coming up for AZ800 is in this section, which is create and manage ADDS security principles. And the second change that is coming for AZ800 is this one, implement on-premises and hybrid network connectivity. So those were the two minor changes coming up for AZ800, which is again an intermediate level exam. And then at number nine, we have DP300, which is administering Microsoft Azure SQL solution. The changes are coming on 7th of February, 2024. And the very first section that is undergoing change is this one, which is configured database authentication and authorization. 
And then we have second change in this section, implement compliance controls for sensitive data. The third and the final minor change that comes up for DB300 is this section, create and manage database tasks in Microsoft Azure. So those were the three minor changes for DB300, which is again an intermediate level exam. And then at number 10, we have DP420, which is designing and implementing cloud native application using Microsoft Azure Cosmos DB. And the changes in this exam is coming up on the 1st of February 2024. Let's see the changes. And here you can see there is no change in the audience profile. The very first change that is coming up is in this section, which is enable Azure Cosmos DB analytical workloads. And then we have second minor change coming up in this section, which is implement data movement for Azure Cosmos DB solution. So those were the two minor changes coming up in DP420, which is a speciality level certification. And the final certification at number 11 that I've got for you is DP500, which is designing and implementing enterprise scale analytic solution using Microsoft Azure and Microsoft Power BI. And the changes are coming up on the 30th of January 2024. There is just one change, but please note this is a major change. And that is this last point given here, which is visualize data by using Power BI. So this section has the major change. So please do compare the change side by side for both old and new syllabus to get a better hands on it. So that was the only change in DP500, but please note that this is a major change. And friends, here I just want to mention that in case you do not understand how to find the exams on various levels. So for example, you want to understand what are the exams on fundamental level or intermediate level or advanced level, or maybe at the speciality level, then watch this video. This video will help you understand how to find the certification at various levels. And in the end, my friends, I would like to summarize this three part video series. So fundamental exams or all the basic exams have some cosmetic changes or very minor changes. So mostly these changes are very surface level and nothing important. So I see no substantial reason for you to change your dates or postpone your exam for any reason. In case you're feeling prepared, just go for it. And then we have exams like AZ204 that we just discussed in this video and also exams like AZ305 SC100 who also have minor tweaks just like the fundamental exams and nothing major. So I don't see here also any reason that you need to postpone your exams. So always prepare your fundamental knowledge, go for the Microsoft Learn and also test your knowledge against our practice questions. And then my friends comes very important part. So in case you are preparing for the exams like AI102 or SC200 where the changes have been really significant in these kind of exams, it really makes total sense that you give some extra time for exam preparation, learning and practice. And then my friends, there are exams who have major changes such as AI102 and SC200. So wherever you find major changes, it all makes sense that you can postpone your exams take some more time for preparation. And yes, my friends, a very important point here that you can only postpone or change the dates of your exam 24 hours prior to the actual or existing scheduled date. And in case you need any help in the rescheduling of the exams, then please watch this video. This will help you understand the entire process of how to reschedule the exam. So hopefully my friends, this video series has cleared all the questions and the doubts that you had on Microsoft Azure certification changes in this year, 2024. So friends, before you start diving to the certification, once again, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel as we bring lot of videos and shorts to increase your knowledge and solidify your journey towards the certification. And that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.